fellas, how's it going? Did you know the multiverse's beta is out? It's true. Anybody can play the game. And I've played a lot. So currently, I have played uh, 62 hours of multiverse since its release last week. And I keep getting the question, who should I play in this game? Taz looks like Meta Knight. He spins around a lot. Is he like Meta Knight? What is Finn like? What is Arya like this? Shut up. I'll tell you. All of the multiverse's characters are exactly like another Smash character, and I'm going to tell you exactly who you should play based on your Smash main. If you're wondering who the hell am I to give, these, uh, to give th this whole thing about the characters, I played this game a lot. Uh, I was high ranked on Taz, Velma, Bugs, Giant, and my LeBron, starting, my LeBron is a rising star. So I played a lot of the game, so I have a lot of comparisons. Okay, first off is Shaggy. And Shaggy has this move, this move, and most importantly, this move. This guy is exactly the character that you think he is. Shaggy is Captain Falcon. The way he operates is very Falcon-esque. He, he kind of runs around. He's very fast, very agile. Uh, goes all over the place. These moves go crazy. Need doesn't really kill. One of the things that you're gonna learn in this game is that it honestly it feels like aerials don't really kill all that much. Play him if you're trying to like if you're trying to play somebody fast, good for a team, kind of basic. Shaggy's kind of like I know I just said he's the Falcon, but he's also like Mario. <laughs> and that he's the most basic character. So Shaggy's kind of like Mario there too. Now, Batman, when you first see Batman play, you're going to think he's chic, okay? You're going to be like, oh my god, look how fast he is. Look how many times he hits. He has a projectile. Like, you're going to be like, oh my god, this is like chic, right? He's not. He is not like chic. Batman is this little critter right here. Batman is literally Fox. And a lot of people might be surprised by this. But no, it's true. Batman's damage output is absurd. If you land, like, one combo, he could just, like, super push it all the way. Like, I'm not even good at this. I'm not good at... Well, I'm pretty good at Batman, but I'm not good at these combos. He just stays on top of people and puts them, like, in the mix. Also, like Fox, he can't kill. This guy can't kill for shit. He has two kill moves. One of them is up B, like that. The other one is down air. He also can't kill, but thank God he can, because if he could, this game would be much worse. <laughs> if you're a Fox player, play Batman. Hey, Light agrees with me. Light also plays Batman, and Light's the Fox guy, so I told you. Taz. Okay, yes, dude, yes. so when I saw Taz, I kind of knew exactly what he was going to be, and I wasn't wrong, okay? <laughs> he has very fast aerial momentum. Very stubby. If you look at his hitboxes, he doesn't really have much. A lot of people have said, oh my god, he's Meta Knight because of this. Which is cringe. He's not Meta Knight just because he has the... Dude, this sucks! They just nerfed this. If you're just playing the game now, you didn't play with Old Tornado. That sucks. But I think the most important thing with Tez is this move here. Do you see this? This move is very strong, and you can kind of just jump around and spam it. Does this move remind you of anything? Perhaps this will ring some bells. Who could that be? He's Wario. He's literally Wario. He, he runs around, and he tries to hit his aerials, and he gets walled out and stuffed by everything. And he's also overrated as shit. Everybody says that he's one of the most busted characters in the game, and he sucks. Unfortunately, though, if you do play Wario, I don't know if you want to play Tez. Because Taz is uh, a low tier right now. Literally, the devs were like, we don't know what to do with him, so we have a rework coming. Garnet, uh, hmm. Garnet is Donkey Kong. I don't know who Garnet is. She feels kind of heavy and like she hits hard. I don't, I couldn't think of anything for Garnet. <laughs> I don't, I, this character's weird. She's not good. <laughs> She, you shouldn't play her anyway. How about this? Just don't play Garnet, okay? I was thinking she's kind of strong. She has a lot of armor. And this sh and she dances. it. Okay, if you want a Garnet guide, this is not the channel for it. I don't know what the fuck this character is doing. Go watch TK Breezy. He plays Garnet. I asked him to tell me who Garnet is like, and he didn't answer me in time. So Garnet is Donkey Kong. <laughs> New 
multiverses player, you are going to hate this fucking character. Jake has a lot of moves. He's very silly. He's very inventive. He can be a car. He can youp and stretch into a circle. Jake is very funny. The problem is, Jake only has three moves you will ever see, okay? Jake is going to do three moves to you. Those three moves are this move, which is probably the best down air in the game. His second move is this. You'll see Jake's do this a lot. This is the only way he kills. And already you might have an idea of who this character is based on roll up smash. But this is the most important move. This move stretches all the way across the stage. You are going to become intimately familiar with this move. Now, clearly there's nobody in Smash that has this kind of move, right? But there is a character in Smash that functions very similarly. Jake is literally Mr. Game & Watch. Mr. Game & Watch, similar to Jake, has really three moves he's going for at any given time. He neutral airs you to like 60 or 70, and then he tries to get you with some, you know, sometimes he'll go bomb mode, and sometimes he'll do roll up smash like that. He's a couple really powerful moves stacked onto a character that has a lot of bad moves. Or not even bad, but like, why would you use it? Closer to Min Min. See, everybody that hasn't played the game is just going to make the immediate comparison. He has long, stretchy arms, so he's Min Min. No, he's not Min Min. Min Min wants to run away from you the whole match. Jake runs into you. Jake tries to fight you. I think what you guys need to understand is, like, just because a character is a single similar move, that's not... It's different how the character actually plays in a real match. You know what I mean? Like, the moves look the same, but they're not at the end of the day. Finn. <laughs> The problem here is I can't show you all the things that Finn is capable of. I can't play the character. I mean, I'm sure I could if I spent any amount of time with him. I just haven't really tried him at all. Finn is a fucking masher. Finn is going to constantly be hitting you and dodging in and trying to aggress on you. And then he just... Everything leads into his one kill move, which is up B. I don't really care about his kill move as much. I just mean the fact that he's constantly at all times trying to hit you. Like, Finn is going to hold forward at all moments. And he is by far the mashiest character in the game. Being the mashiest, noob-friendliest, most scary character in that regard in the game, there is only one character that Finn could be. Roy fans, this is for you. He's gonna kill you mad early, and you're gonna be mad about it. Now, somebody's gonna be like, Oh, but he doesn't kill with forward air, or he doesn't kill with back air, or some other bullshit. Listen, dummy. The comparisons are as general as they could be. These are two very different games. I'm just saying Finn plays very similarly, and that you are constantly holding forward, trying to fight, and swing as much as possible. Arya, once again, I am not going to be able to show you what this character can do. It's not like Finn in that I haven't spent any time with him. Arya is hard. Arya is kind of difficult to play, at least right now. It might turn out that she's not. I'm going to be honest with you guys watching this video. I have a confession. I've played Arya the least. I've never played her in a match, so I don't know what she's doing in terms of playing. But I know what she is in terms of archetype. And she is uh, death by many cuts. She has to hit you a lot of times. And I think the most important thing here is Arya is going to be good in, like, probably, like, six months. I don't know. Depends on balances. Arya is going to take some time to learn, but I think she only gets better. She scales up. And I think with that in mind, she's chic. That's it. She's a chic character. Because she's not amazing. She's not a great character. But she's always going to be at least somewhat good by diehards that only play her and know all that shit. And I think the comparison is, like, kind of, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's one that a lot of people have gone to, and I feel a little, it feels a little contrived, but I think it's a pretty, you know, pretty obvious one with the way this character functions. Harley. Okay, hear me out on this one, because I might be wrong. Harley, at the start, was considered one of the strongest characters in the game. I think you can do, like... No, isn't it, like, jab, jab? Like that. I feel so dirty doing that. 
Harley is very good. Um, she can't really kill all that great. She has a lot of trouble with that. She has this stuff. She has some bombs and traps and stuff, but honestly, I don't think they're very um, important to how she plays. Up B is your one kill move. You also have this. One thing to note is that pretty much every Harley player has given up on Harley. Harley, I think, based on her sort of like combo heavy nature and the fact that she constantly wants to up air, try to keep you in disadvantage, put you in bad spots. I'm not as confident in this and I want chat to tell me if they have a better option. I think she's literally zero suit. I think she's gotten worse and she's only gonna get worse. I think she's gonna keep going down in the same way that Zero Suit got nerfed and then she kind of got gutted. I think she plays somewhat similarly and that you want to like jump in when your opportunity comes up but not too early. Joker? Maybe. No, Joker can kill. Joker can only kill with Arsene though. So let's, let's condense Arsene down into one move. Up B with Harley is Arsene. Okay, well, d d she is... Harley is one of these two. It's a little bit of both. This is the character. Just, that's it. It's one of these two. That's Harley, I guess. I think it's more Zero Suit. But honestly, Joker's kind of like Zero Suit too. So, whatever. LeBron just came out today. I have no idea what the fuck. He kind of sucks. <laughs> if you're looking to be a LeBron main, good luck. Uh, I have no idea what to compare him to. You guys tell me if you guys have a, have a better... Uh, Compare it. Hey, comment below. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think LeBron or Rick and Morty will be top tier? LeBron, no. Rick and Morty, we don't know their moveset, so I don't know. Wonder Woman, who I lied before when I said I had played the least amount of Arya. I played the least amount of Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is kind of bare bones. Uh, she's not ambiguous in the way that she plays. Her specials are a little bit more um, nuanced, I think. But that's just the nature of this game. Obviously, the one-to-one -one comparisons aren't always going to be there. I think Wonder Woman is literally Lucina. I think Lucina players will be right at home. You can just kind of space people out with this. You can approach with it. You can uh, retreat with it. It feels kind of similar. I think she's more similar to Lucina than any other character. She's kind of the, the standard sword character, and I think Lucina fits that same role. She's, she's Lucina. She's literally Lucina. Superman. Okay. This one's a little weird. Superman has all these specials. He has this. He has Ice Breath. He's a big... Uh, he's got uh, this move, which can fly forever, right? Nobody in Smash has anything like this. And I think the biggest thing for Superman is the momentum. Like, he is so fast when played well. And I do not play him well. I've tried. <laughs> I think the main thing Superman does is scare you. I think he pushes you to the corner. He puts you in a bad spot. And he forces you to guess. And when he does that, you're probably going to make it a bad decision and die mad early. You can do side B and then... Got him. Superman cuts off areas of the stage. He pushes you into a bad situation. And then he punishes you for making that bad decision. Superman is literally King DDD. Not in terms of movement. Not in terms of move set. Not in terms of anything like that. But what DDD does is he's not really all that scary. He just tries to put you in a bad spot for 90% of the game. And then eventually he does, and you die at 50. That's what DDD does. I say Bowser over DDD. No. Bowser has bad disadvantage. He gets stuck in the air a lot. He can't, like... You're not focusing on the bigger picture. They're, you're, you're, you're hyper fixating on one little bit of the character. DDD just tries to put you in his dumb little gimmick machine, and then he, if he does, he kills you early. Superman is literally DDD, and I will hear nothing more of it. Okay, I've got to be honest with you. Iron Giant isn't really like any Smash character. He is huge. Uh, he has this crazy armor, and while this is on, I cannot be hit. Wait, I heard they nerfed this out. Oh, they made that way longer. This kind of super army armor on a heavy is unprecedented. Yeah, this kind of character is very different. Uh, he has these moves. He has, like, these huge hitboxes. 
He's good in the air, too. So, like, a lot of heavies are only good on the ground. I gotta be honest. Iron Giant isn't really, like, any Smash character at all. But if I had to pick one, I guess it's Bowser. I guess. There's a ton of armor. He's heavy as shit. He lives forever. And he also has this move, which I haven't shown you yet. I guess. He has two landing options, too. In the same way that Bowser does. You either down air or you down B. That's it. Although in this game, you could do this. Ooh. Don't you wish Bowser could do that? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Steven. Okay, so Steven is, I think, one of the least like any Smash characters. Because I, I literally don't know how these moves work, by the way. Uh, I'm learning with you. I've fought him, and I know how to fight him, but I don't know what the moves are. Down B is he makes a healing zone, and then a watermelon comes out and beats the shit out of people. And a lot of people are going to be like, oh, he's like Rosalina, because he has that. Um, but I don't really think that's true, because you don't think about the watermelon. It just does its own thing. Oh, wait, is that my shield? Oh, he's he has a shield? He's the only character in the game with a shield. I didn't know that. I've never seen them do it. It shields allies, too. Oh, my God, that's crazy. I have seen Steven less than any other character. He was everywhere in the first test. He was all over the place, but he's not really played anymore now, even though he's one of the top characters in the game. I don't really have a good comparison for Steven because I think that Steven is his own thing, but purely based on his forward air and down air and neutral air, the way that he played before, before they got rid of his ultimate and like the bounciness of it, it kind of feels like Peach to me a little bit. There's not really a character like Steven in Smash. Because he's, like, he's pure support, and he tries to help his other guy, and Smash is 1v1. This one is one of the weakest comparisons. My bad. Steven is so unique in the way that he plays that there's not really anybody like him. But try him. Maybe you'll like him. I don't know. Rain Dog. Okay, so we talked about supports before. Supports are very unique. Supports can't be co compared to anything in Smash Brothers. They're only like multiverses characters. I just said that. That's not true for Rain Dog. So Rain Dog, what he'll do is he has these projectiles, right? He loves projectiles. He has a beam there and it goes off and he spits lots of projectiles and balls and shit. Now, a lot of people would say... Because because Rain Dog is built to support his teammate. That's all he is. He runs back and he, he shoots stuff from afar. A lot of people would say you can't make a comparison. Au contraire. Rain Dog is the most ledge-to-ledge -ledge character in the game. All Rain Dog wants to do is run away from you. You're going to see Rain Dog over here. And then once you start fighting him, Rain Dog is over here. Does that remind you of anyone? Hmm? What if I were to show you this move? Who else does that? Hmm? Sonic? No. <laughs> Sonic does it at projectiles. But Samus does! Rain Dog is literally Samus. Rain Dog will run away from you the entire match, shooting balls, not trying to engage, and then once you get close to him, he's gonna pop out of the air with some dumb aerial move. Yeah, like this, like forward air to get away from you. Just trying not to engage. Rain Dog is Samus, doing everything they can to not fight you. Yoshi? No, Yoshi Yoshi has to fight you. Yoshi drifts into you and does aerials. Rain Dog doesn't do that. Rain Dog tries not to engage at any point. Rain Dog is literally Samus, and I'm gonna ask you to shake on it. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Oh, oh, I'm glad you came around. Oh, I knew you would see it my way eventually. Oh, I'm glad we agreed. Thanks, everybody. Velma... Uh, is actually my main. I have played Velma the most. I love Velma to death. She's not like any Smash character really at all. She has a bunch of like far away stuff. She has this move which hits across the stage. It's like full stage. She has this move that she throws out. She also has this which will go chase people. She's kind of playing her own game. Phoenix Wright. No, she's not Phoenix Wright. One, that's not a Smash character. Two, you're only saying that because she's solving crimes. You guys go on the most base surface level analogies. It's not true. Velma is, uh, she is a very far away character. She's good at playing from a distance. But she's also very good up close. 
which you would not expect. I think the way Velma operates and what you should do with her, I think she's all Lamar. I think staying away from people is preferred, but if they get up close, you're fine. You could fight straight up and you could probably kill them. There's stuff to keep track of. You constantly have to be on the move and running and, and dancing around. I think she's closest to Olimar if you had to make a comparison. But I don't know if comparisons are really apt for this game, if I'm being honest. Because she is a very, like, supportive character. Also, she could call the cops. Kind of funny. You can beat the shit out of people in the cop car. Now, Tom... I'm just gonna tell you to go watch Void. I have no idea what the fuck this character is doing. He's got a lot of weird stuff. He has, like, this fishing rod, which, you know, obviously, maybe Isabel. He has a slingshot. Villager-esque, I guess, but now I can control Jerry. You see this? So I'm kind of controlling Aluma, because I have to control him and I have to pick him up. I have this. <laughs> uh... It's kind of weird if I had to make a comparison for Tom and Jerry. I guess I would say they're kind of like... It's like Ice Climber, Snake, and Rosalina, and Luma. All of these characters at the same time. They're kind of trap-esque, like Snake, a little bit. Like they want to put you in a bad spot and set up a trap and you get stuck in it and then you die early. They're kind of like ICs that you're controlling two things at once. You could put Luma out the same way that you control Jerry a little bit. But it feels more like... I feel like you have a little bit more agency over Jerry. Uh, I think it's kind of one of these three. Less Ice Climbers. Snake Climbers and Luma. That's a better way to put it. Yeah. Uh, I think less Ice Climbers. More Snake and Rosalina. Last character uh, is one of the best... 1v1 characters in the game, if not the best. He's, like, sort of tied with Finn. I think Finn's better, but Bugs is crazy. Bugs can do basically whatever he wants at any time. Uh, I've described Bug playing Bugs as, like, freestyling. Like, you could just kind of, like... Like, you could just kind of hit moves, and they just kind of link together automatically without any thought. Like... Bugs feels sort of, and he can also go underground. He kind of cheats a little bit. If you feel like you don't want to fight for a little bit, if you don't want to engage, you can run away and hide. He has stuff to hide behind that also interacts with that. And you could send this flying at people. Bugs feels like three characters in one. And I'll say his game plan can be whatever you want it to be. Highly creative, you might say. Bugs is Steve. He can fight you straight up if he wants to. He could just straight up beat you with his hitboxes. He could also decide, I don't want to fight for a little bit. You can throw shit from afar, and it might kill. But if it doesn't, who cares? Not like you put yourself in any risk. I think some people would say Pac-Man. I don't think so. I think Bugs fights way too well to be Pac-Man. Pac-Man can fight you straight up. But his ultimate goal is always getting you set up in a trap. Bugs doesn't need to get you in a trap. Bugs could just fight you if he wants. Bugs is literally Steve. So if you want to play Steve or any other character, I, sh I just recommend you play Bugs. The whole point of this video is to get you to play Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny is the most crazy character in this game. You should play him no matter who you play in Smash. He's probably going to get nerfed a lot in the future though, unlike Steve. Bugs is Steve, and he's the last character. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Have fun out there in the multiverse, and maybe I'll see you out there. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. I'll see you next time. Remember to like the video, I guess, too. Comment below which one of those was your favorite. Who do you play in Smash? It, was I right? Huh? Pretty good. See you next time. Bye. Bye, YouTube. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're done. Okay, we got it. Honestly, bro, I think I was spitting. I think I got most of them right, except for Garnet and Steven and Iron Giant. <laughs>